Hi everyone, it is Tuesday the 23rd of May. Um, I was up last night until about 2am just watching the Manchester Arena events unfold and um, I woke up a little bit later this morning to the news that there was more people that had been found who had been fatalities of what happened. I knew that I was going to be vlogging for Wednesday's video and I was thinking do I vlog, do I not vlog? It's always such a, a difficult thing to weigh up. I, I never really know what the right thing to do is. But I thought if I put my usual video out um, and in the description box below you can find places where you can go and donate. Um, any information that I find that can possibly help anyone will be in the description box and my videos usually get seen by a few hundred thousand people so I hope that, that in any way it helps someone. So there's also somewhere that you can donate down below. I think it's been set up by Social Chain. I've donated there. Um, this money is supposed to be going to the families to help them um, with what's happened. So if if you want to donate, no matter how much it is, um, you can do that down below. It's such a, a devastating thing that's happened and I, I honestly, I was I had tears in my eyes when I was watching everything unfold. It's one thing, it's one thing to have a terror attack, but to have it at a concert where they're children, like, who, like, I can't even think about it. But if you want to be able to do anything, I know that I feel quite helpless and I feel like I'd rather use my platform than stay off social media at this time. So any information to donate or anything down below. I, I was thinking about donating blood. I'm just gonna be doing what I can and if you want to do any more then you can find it down below. But I am thinking of everyone affected by what happened in Manchester last night and I um, I just can't get my head around the whole thing. A thousand words ain't enough to define the body of, body of, yeah. Got a look and she wants it back She's firing up that body up yeah, yeah. You think that I want you but nah nah babe You're one in a million but it's not for me I'm not in I'm running so late this morning I feel like I'm like constantly glued to my phone just like checking whether people have been found or anything like that like, There's just so much news happening at once and I can't, I can't get off my phone, but I'm gonna sit on my phone for like the entire journey. I'm going to Le Manoir today. It's an event that's been in my diary for weeks now. And um, I'm going there with By Terry. And I believe we're gonna be making macaroons there or macarons, whichever way you say it, um, which I've actually done before. So I'm thinking I might be a bit of a pro at this, but it's out in Oxfordshire at, it's actually right near where my grandma lives. So, um, I wish I could go and see her, but I'm getting a car there and back. I didn't think this through. I could have driven there and then gone and seen my grandma. It's a bit annoying that I've only just realized that. But I think I've got myself ready just in time. My bag is packed, I'm dressed, and uh, the house isn't too bad, but I do have to feed Lumi, who is asleep downstairs. So we're gonna do that before we go. Don't take it too personally. Le Manoir and we've just had a little bit of lunch and what we what we're here for is the launch of the new by Terry fragrance and it I'm gonna try and say this I've asked Terry a few times now how to say this but it's Delectation Blondie fragrance launches on the 31st of July at Harrods that's exclusively at Harrods as well so if you want to have a smell of this you can go down and smell it there I've always 
been the sort of torn between whether it's macaroons or macarons and I feel like so many people say macaroons but I always think that that's right. It's not right. It's macarons and I now know that and I'm never going to say it wrong again. <laughs> but we've gone for pink ones and uh, yeah, I think personally these are going to be the best ones. I'm, I'm quietly confident. How's it going? I know. <laughs> I'm not being any pressure on you, I promise. <laughs> finished up making the macarons and now I'm going to introduce you to Terry and obviously that's by Terry. I always go to call her by Terry and it's not by Terry, it's Terry. But she's going to tell you the significance of the macarons with regards to the new perfume. So come tell, come tell. <laughs> Here I am with my fragrance and my macarons. So the macaron, it's a very Parisian, very French treat. It's the delight that uh, Marie Antoinette in Versailles used to eat and it's, you know, it's a tribute to the movie of uh, Sofia Coppola with Marie Antoinette because she really twists Marie Antoinette as a rock and roll uh, icon and I really love it and she, she, she was a strength center with this kind of... Uh, and macaron is very, very close to cosmetics in terms of color in terms of texture and when you start to eat one you never stop <laughs> i had so like true. one thousand this afternoon <laughs> we've literally just eaten all of the macaroons macarons i have to say the right macaron, way but macaron but i love to say macaroon it's much more <laughs> exotic no the <laughs> macaron macaron parisien que marie antoinette <laughs> mangeait à versailles <laughs> <laughs> oh, thank you so thank much. You. Thank you for having me as well. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, I am home, everyone. I have a very meowy bangle on my hands. I've just taken her for a walk. I've also got a package um, that was left for me. I had a really lovely drive back from Le Manoir. I had a very young... 22 year old, I say young like, yeah. He was a 22 year old um, male Muslim and it was just really interesting talking to him and I think it's the first time that I've had a conversation like that with a Muslim person and just, obviously you see in the media and you see them talk about, you know, what their religion means, but it was just really nice to have a, have a talk with him and hear him talk so passionately about his stance on everything and what it really means to be uh, a Muslim and how that is so completely different from what terrorism is portraying. I find it very difficult to talk about stuff like this, I'm not gonna lie. I don't know the ins and outs of things. I'm not gonna sit here and pretend I'm the most well-educated person in the world about this subject, but it's something that obviously is part of day-to-day -day life and I'm doing my best but yeah it was just it was just so interesting to, to chat to him and he was a very charming young man and um, spoke very passionately about his religion but yeah I feel like I'm moving into territory that I'm not comfortable with on my channel so I'm now gonna resume doing the things in my videos that um, are normal and um, I just yeah <laughs> I have some parcels and um, I thought that I would open them I also have another P.O. box which is airmail again so I love this I love getting P.O. boxes oh it literally makes me so happy so let's open so this one has come all the way from Germany got flowers on the back which is so cute if anyone is ever wondering where my P.O. box address is you can find it in my description box down below oh this is such a cute card oh thank you oh wow They've included a picture of them. Dear Lydia, my name is Iger and I'm a 42 year old mummy from Munich, Germany. My kids made me watch your YouTube and I love watching your channel. I have no Instagram and I'm not on Facebook or anything like that. I guess it's because I didn't grow up with it. You look beautiful and I like the way you talk about all the nice things and I love, love, love to see the newest handbags. <laughs> it always feels like a little vacation when I follow you on YouTube. The influence of social media on our life has grown a lot and I have to find the right way with my three boys, Leo 16, Hugo and Henry 12 too. 
and what you do is the best way to handle negative comments. Writing a letter is very old fashioned, I know, but it's, I just wanted to thank you for doing what you do. My kindest regards, Iga. Oh, wow. And this must be a picture of her and her family. Oh God, that's so cool. This honestly made my day, thank you so much. And this is kind of what I hope for, that my channel might be a little bit of, you know, a half hour or a 10 minute escape for some people to just watch a video. I just put on someone's video and I get to escape my own life for a little while. So I have a little box that I keep these letters in. So this is definitely gonna be going in there. I'm trying not to move because my camera is balanced on something. It's also really wonky. I'm so sorry guys. I'm such an amateur at this. It's still wonky and it's still wobbly. We'll open this one. Oh wow, oh my gosh, I didn't realize this was gonna arrive so quickly. So this is a brand that I've wanted to tell you about. Oh my gosh, but I bought these two beautiful dresses the other day from them and yeah, I'm just obsessed with this brand at the moment. Dear Lydia, thank you for your order. Wishing you many fabulous summer holidays in your dresses. Love Sophie and the team. So basically I um, bought these dresses and as I opened up my inbox, they'd actually emailed me wanting to work with me. So I, I paid for the dresses, I bought the dresses myself, but um, it was just such a weird coincidence. But the brand is called Neve and Noor. And um, I'll show you this dress first, because this is the dress that I saw initially. Oh my God, it's so beautiful and so well made. Oh my goodness, look. Oh my God, I cannot wait to wear this. Look how beautiful that is. This is beautiful. I'm gonna put it on and show you as well. And then I also bought, so this is another Bardo style dress, but this is more ruched. I think you'll need to see this one on. It's got like capped sleeves and it's got this beautiful like porcelain-esque style print. So I'm gonna put these on and show you. I hope that you love them as much as I do. But yeah, this is the Heather dress. And this one is the Ilara dress. So I'll pop those on and show you them in a sec. Oh, and then I've got, this was the fragrance that we got with By Terry. So this is the box that the By Terry fragrance comes in. And then it comes in this beautiful little pochette little pouch oh my god it's so sweet it's like spicy and sweet it's beautiful i dreamt of liquor for the skin an intoxicating blend of oriental spices and honey of woody and floral notes to bring the senses to a heightened state of palatial exhilaration so that's all that now i'm going to try and work out why this camera isn't focusing properly i thought i would show you quickly what i wore today as well because i didn't actually get a chance to show you this morning because i was in such a rush but i am wearing my philosophy dress again i love it and i've not actually been able to wear it for so long because uh because it's not been sunny i wore it last week and it, okay that's a lie i have worn it <laughs> I just love it so much. It's so easy to wear because it's like loose. It doesn't even have like a waistband. I love this style of dress. But I have got on my Fendi boots, which I'm just obsessed with at the moment. And I can wear because it's not raining anymore. And then my uh, Chloe handbag as well. But now I'm gonna show you the other stuff that I bought um, that I didn't get to show you before. I might show you the Emilio Pucci and the uh, Louboutins as well. Yeah, I'll show you those. So this is the first dress from Neve and Noor and it definitely is more of a beach dress so I would need to put a slip underneath it because you can see my underwear but I don't care. I literally don't care. This dress is so beautiful. I've got millions of slips that I can stick underneath this. I just hope you can't see my spotty pants. Um, <laughs> but oh my god, it's so beautiful. It comes in loads of different colours as well. It comes in like lemon yellow, it comes in white, I think blue, and then this sort of pink and white version, which was my favourite, but I would actually love the white one as well, so I might get that as well. <laughs> I've just popped it with my Chloe boots. I'm not sure if they're the right boots, but um, I've just that's just what I've done. Um, but yeah, I'll just show you the other outfit quickly. Okay, this dress is the dark horse, because I literally just bought this thinking like, oh, it looks nice. Um, maybe it would be like an extra dress kind of thing if I want to throw something on. But I don't know whether I prefer this to the other one. I, oh my God, I love it so much. I think this comes in loads of different prints as well. And it's so lightweight. So this is perfect for holiday or when it gets hotter here in the UK. Oh my God, it's so nice. Oh, I'm in love with this brand. I am in love with this brand. Okay, I've made a massive mess in my room now. Um, but this is the outfit that I bought the other day that I didn't show you on. The Christian Louboutin shoes actually feel 
really good. I think I might try and put them to the test this weekend, but they feel very, very secure on my feet. Uh, they don't feel too high. They don't feel like they're gonna be uncomfortable. So I'm actually quietly optimistic. And then this poochie dress is kind of a beach dress, but I love the uh, print of it. So I'll probably wear this a lot when we next go away, but I'm actually really happy that I bought these shoes. I didn't think I was gonna be this happy, but I am. So yeah, not sure about this bag with it though. I might put a different bag, but yeah, love this outfit as well. Oh, is my screen dirty? Oh my God, it's actually filthy. Good morning, everyone. Oh, today is such a beautiful day outside and work is in full swing again. We are filming today. I've got uh, my camera guy coming over AR. I know that there are some girls in my comments that have a bit of a soft spot for AR. <laughs> I see you, girl. Um, so I get to be all barefaced today because it's kind of like a health, ooh, got loads of moisturizer there. <laughs> I was like, Ugh. We are filming sort of like a health and fitness kind of, not health and fitness like routine because I don't re, I mean, I, I can't do that, but it's a video all about like what I'm doing currently from beauty to health, to lifestyle, all of that kind of stuff. And it should be coming like next week, I think. Um, but yeah, we're filming that today, which is very, very exciting. And the weather is so beautiful outside. Oh my God, so happy. I think it's gonna be a very, a very good day today. I'm feeling, I'm feeling good. I'm feeling good. I haven't had breakfast yet, so I'm in kind of like hunger, hyper mode. Um, I've got a delivery from Louise Viaroma arriving today, so I will be opening that with you because, when did I order these? I ordered these when I was at Champneys. I, I, I just saw them and I was like, I've never bought anything from this brand. You can tell how excited I am today, can't you? I'm in such a good, this, this weather makes me so happy. But yeah, oh, I saw these and it's from a brand I've never bought anything from. And I saw these trousers and I was like, mm pretty so, oh no i'm not going to tell you what they are <laughs> i'm gonna have to cut that bit out and um i yeah i was like gotta have it so i ordered it it was supposed to arrive yesterday don't know what happened dhl i swear dhl are like the bane of my existence um but yeah so when they arrive i will open them with you and this video is going up tonight so i will be um talk i feel like i'm talking to you like now now i'm gonna get to work with ar and um Get crack a in the sunshine. I bet it's so nice and warm out there. Good morning. Good morning. <laughs> so we've been filming all morning. It's now about two o'clock in the afternoon. And if my face looks red, it's because it is. Um, we've been filming parts of the video and it's like one of them was a beauty product that I love using. And we were trying to get it off really quickly, but unfortunately we ended up leaving it on and it's made my face go all red. It does go down, but um, yeah, looking a little bit like a tomato. I swear, I swear it doesn't look that bad in real life. Um, I've got AR in the car. Hey, hey. We're about to go and do some filming outside and um, my parcel has arrived and I haven't opened it yet and it's killing me. It's the only thing that's arrived for me today. So um, yeah, I do, I do. I am looking forward to getting home and unboxing that. Um, but now we're gonna get outside for the first time today, which it's actually really hot in this car. So we're probably starting to both sweat, but my PT's coming to meet us. So we're gonna go and do some bits with him in the park. And I don't think you're gonna see this bit cause you can't. So we're currently shooting in one of my favorite locations, probably one of the only nice locations in Milton Keynes. The lads are up there setting up. It is so hot and I can't take my top off. So I'm like sweating really badly. But I really like this sportswear. You're gonna see more of this in a video that's coming up, but yeah, it's exciting. So the slave drivers have let me have five minutes rest and we've got the drone out now and we're about to do a massive sprint from all the way back there, all the way to here. And the drone is gonna track me, apparently, and I'm gonna do my best not to face plant. He's gonna say it again. If you ignore him, he'll go away. <sighs> that little spot there is the drone. I have a funny feeling. That was the second time that we've done that. 
I have a funny feeling that AI is going to tell us to do it again. And basically, I think that if we ignore him, he'll go away. So I've just kind of uh, thrown some makeup at my face to make it look a little bit more presentable. And I look nice and tanned today. Maybe I caught the sun when I was uh, out shooting today. Although I was literally in like a zip up top the entire time. So we've had two deliveries today and one of them is from HM Revenue and Customs. <laughs> Not my favourite mail to get so I thought that I would open the Louisa V Aroma box with you and show you the item that I got because I honestly think that these are so beautiful. It's quite a small box because it's only one item that I bought. It was whilst I was at Champneys and I saw them and I was like, they're so nice. And I did want a dress from this brand, but their dresses are very, 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 very expensive. So these trousers were sort of like a, that will do if you like them maybe in the future, possibly. I've got my scruffs on, but I'm saying scruffs. This is a very nice jumper, but I have just thrown it on so that I'm not doing this video in my bra. <laughs> okay. So inside the Louise Vero box, as usual, there is a receipt. This is from a brand called, is it Etro? I, 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 yeah, I don't know. But these are some very beautiful, almost like palazzo style trousers. I think what I'm just gonna do is pop them on and show you because they're so beautiful. I think that they're one of those items that you're just gonna like when you see them on, so. So let's just make it quicker and pop them on. I feel like this is how my hauls should always be, like a little bit of my life, try something on, yeah. <laughs> anyway, I, I don't know whether you've realized I'm so hyper today. I had to say to AR when he got here, I don't know what's wrong with me. I'm really hyper today. Yeah, let's try these on before you give any more TMA. TMA? What's the? TMI, too much information, too much. I don't know. So these are the Etro. Oh, I really feel like I'm saying that wrong. I should probably Google these things before I talk about them. These are the trousers that I got from Louise Via Roma. I've popped them with a sort of like boho bardo top. The good thing is the print doesn't go all the way to the bottom so I can have these taken up and they'll be absolutely perfect. Um, they could maybe come in on the waist as well just a little bit. It's where I always struggle with trousers though. My waist, not my hips. My hips are fine but it's just my waist. But yeah I love the colours of them. They're so beautiful. Look at that. This is the colour up close. I'd probably have the pockets taken out as well. But yeah, I just thought that these were so nice and um, summery. These would be nice on holiday with like just a boob tube or something like that. It's, um, yeah, these are really nice. Such easy to wear trousers as well. And you know that I'm a fan of easy to wear items. So yeah. But yeah, let me know what you think of these trousers in the description box below. I love them. I think they've got such a nice colour scheme going on. So yeah. I am very, very hot at the moment. I'm also not naked, <laughs> but it looks like I am. Um, that's it for this vlog. I hope that you've enjoyed it. I hope you've enjoyed all of the items that I've shown you in this video. I will see you in my next video. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you for all your support. Thank you for all of the lovely comments as well. There were so many lovely comments on my last video. It made, it made me so happy. I'm so glad to be back vlogging and just talking to you guys and interacting with you guys. I'm having such a great time. So um, yeah, I'll see you in my next video video.